Hello and welcome to the SWS Classroom Chat. We are going to have this discussion specifically about the NEET students who are going to take the examination in May 2023. With me is my dear friend Kapil Gupta of NEETprep.com. Kapil, five months of time is now. Are your students quite tense or are they excited that last five months' ki journey is going to be going? I don't know, uh, Sudhir. Uh, I would want to meet people who are super excited. Uh, it is a moment, a moment of extreme tension. Uh, yes. ko kafi tension. Uh, uh, finally, that thing is upon you, right? Uh, you can't run away mm -hmm. from it. Basically, jab date aata hai, toh, uh, it becomes a reality. So uh, right. that it, uh, date has still not come, but it is expected yeah. that sometime this week, we are already on Wednesday, Thursday, yeah. Friday, ke mein date aa jana chahiye, and students should know uh, it is expected. If you believe Times of India, that the exam is going to happen, NEET exam, on first Sunday of May, Sunday. which is 7th May. Yeah. 7th of May. So uh, let's break it down. If I am a class 12 student, I am also likely to be having pre-board examinations in the month of December, maybe in January, one of the two months definitely. Then I will have my board examination starting anytime after the 15th of February. Already uh, the IAC board has announced its timetable that's starting from the 13th of February. CBSC is also more or less likely to be at the same time. That will mean that my board exams are at least eight months ka samay pura chala jayega. We'll have to concentrate on that. Pre-boards and practical examinations also will take a bit of time. So, iske chalte, how do I navigate and also ensure time for my NEET preparation? So, Sudhir, uh, at this point of time, I think one thing which students should understand is that uh, they can't do everything. They will have to make choices. And uh, in my mind, it is important that they understand ki wo thoda kare. If they try and do too many things, the pressure is going to pounce on them. So hmm. what that means is, it is a reality, they will write board exams. Board exams hmm. are important. When hmm. you apply for even jobs, you write hmm. on your resume, class 12th, I achieved these marks. When we hire yes. people in our organization, one hmm. way to test whether the person is sincere or not, we just ask them what was your score in class 12th and what was your score in class 12th. So there is no running away from class 12th score. Hmm. Now, uh, what I would do in this situation, what I recommend students is do class 12th, both from board and need perspective. Theory is the same. If you are talking about hmm. CBSE students, yeah. it is NCRT book, which is the okay. theory. Now yes. you apply NCRT book in subjective questions for your board preparation, but simultaneously, please do MCQs as well. So that 12th portion gets covered while you are preparing, okay. while you are giving time to 12 subject, uh, 12 chapters anyways, right? Yes. So right. that will give you some comfort that some part of it is covered. Hmm. That is one thing which I believe anyone who is serious about cracking neat and first attempt next year, hmm. expected in May, hmm. they should do this, that they should ensure that when they are reading anything from mm. NCRT book, when they're reading anything for board exams, they should simultaneously mm. do MCQs from mm. uh, uh, to prepare for NEET. So while they are doing this as per your strategy, uh, in a given day, if they are studying for X number of hours, should a particular part of that number of hours should be devoted exclusively for NEET preparation also? Is that something which you would recommend? Or let's say uh, exclusively for MCQ practice. Yes, okay. uh, I would say two to three hours of MCQ practice daily hmm. is manageable. Hmm. Students would know that you don't need to study with school. Don't think about studying for another 10 hours after school. Uh, school would consume certain amount of time. You would have activities related to school. Try and figure out when you can sneak out two to three hours for your MCQ practice. And in MCQ hmm. practice also, uh, what I recommend is 25% of MCQs for physics, 25% chemistry, and 50% biology in a one-week window, not necessarily every day. But if you're practicing, okay. let's say, 500 to 700 MCQs in a week, 25% hmm. physics, 25% chemistry, and 50% biology so that you maintain the right balance. Okay, that's an important point. Now, uh, my second question pertains to students who have probably not managed their preparation time very well and it happens to many of us. Uh, and they are in a state of last minute panic. Uh, and many times it happens that us panic may 
नीट का प्रिपरेशन भी ठीक से नहीं होता है उसी के चलते बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन का भी कबाड़ा हो जाता yes. है Yes. So how do they ensure that they don't land up uh, in a mess? They don't fall between two stools. So Sudhir, very frankly, if someone has not started preparing till now, they are not mm. going to get selected next year. Mm. I don't want to mince words there, and it is okay. Uh, I'll give you my example. At this point of time, I was not confident mm. about my JE preparation. That is back in nineteen ninety six. I said to myself, I'll not be able to do it. and i focused on my board exams for me board exams were also tough and i dropped mm. gave a uh, 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 je at that time it was subjective and uh, i got into iit delhi mm. right so mm. uh, i i believe for whatever reason if you have not prepared till now i would mm. rather focus on the board exam and uh, just forget about uh, need completely after uh, your board exams is over my expectation is between 20th to 25th march or probably mm. 15th to 17th march between 15th to 25th march they should get yeah. over yes. after that whatever time you get uh, mm. you can prepare for neat but uh, don't don't bog yourself down uh, it's not worth doing it kumbh ka mela nahi hai ki exam 12 saal baad hoga if you if you miss next year there is going to be another opportunity and that is perfectly okay uh, don't stress yourself out don't lose the fun of uh, education and studies uh, uh, through this mm. pressure right my third question is about uh, if your class 11 syllabus is still pending in the sense that class 11 it's quite possible that last year when they were in class 11 uh, it would have been a bit of online classes certain concepts certain theories may not be very clear how yeah. do they deal with the backlog of the class 11 syllabus again uh it it becomes a sequential activity the first thing that we have to prioritize is we have to get ready for the board exams yes which means we have to study our class 12 chapters along mm. with it you try and do mm. mcqs for those chapters we discuss that if you mm. still have time remaining different students mm. would be at different level of preparation different right. level of comfort with respect to their chapters in class 12 if you have time remaining then you look at uh, class 11 chapters within class 11th i would recommend by the time board exams are over or before board exams start if you can finish four chapters of physics motion in a straight line motion in a plane laws of motion work energy power these are base chapters of your physics mm. and in chemistry i believe six chapters some basic concepts of chemistry structure of atom classification of elements and periodicity chemical bonding and molecular structure organic chemistry mm. some basic principles and techniques and redox reaction you would mm. use these uh, the concepts of these chapters in class 12th also so 6 yeah. plus 4 10 chapters get covered here the total number mm. of chapters in class 11th are 50 so remaining mm. 40 chapters just just try and see if you are able to find time if you get some time to revise before writing uh, your mock test but otherwise mm. if you don't have time i won't worry about it i would i would just try and do whatever i'm doing well rather than mm. spread myself thin and end up getting hassled i don't know anything i've tried to study everything okay my final question now let's move away from the 12th class students to the droppers those who gave their meet in 2022 did not make it what should be the big lesson that should they should draw from the experience of 2022 by as a result of which they can probably do a better job next year in may so they uh, they should know by now uh, exam got over on 17 july they should know by now and they would also know right now because counseling mop up rounds have gotten over uh, in all india counseling state counseling mop up rounds are either starting mm. or going to start soon yes. they would know whether they are getting the college or not and they would know what they did not do well in their neat exam mm. they should mm. take that learning i am good let's say out of 96 chapters in neat syllabus i am good in 50 mm. chapters i am not good in 46 chapters majority of mm. the time should go into those 46 chapters for okay. those 50 chapters which you already know just practice mcqs that is enough let's say 100 mm. to 150 mcqs per chapter and keep mm. writing mock test uh, every week yes. to two week mm. write mock test mm. your daughter went through this journey right yes. just write mock yes. test and you would find out what your weak areas are right hmm. and just spend time on those weak areas that is good enough don't hmm. uh, again stress yourself out but the good news for droppers is they can study around 10 to 12 hours a day we have 150 right. days training 
which means between 1500 to 1700 hours of studies they can do even yes. starting now and total yes. need preparation is around 2800 hours of preparation right correct so a yes. lot of studies can be done so i mean just a related question to the what you mentioned about the mock test while the droppers obviously can continue to take mock tests and focus on that the board examination students the 12th class students will have to ration the number of mock tests that they can give at this point they would have to uh, they would have to ration uh, not only that i would recommend mm. if you're not ready with class 11th portion don't write mock tests and get demotivated unnecessarily write yeah. mock tests for example on our platform we provide mm. you the option of selecting your own chapters and creating mock tests out of it because one challenge with students face is they are preparing for something and mock test syllabus is something else don't worry yeah. about those mock tests where syllabus doesn't match your preparation don't change the mm. sequence of your preparation go by our mm. sequence and you can generate uh, if you are on our platform uh, you can generate mm. your own uh, mock test based on what you are studying and write test but do write test and mm. don't hassle about those things which are not part of your uh, syllabus completion uh, sequence great i'm sure all the students who are preparing for neat be it droppers or class 12 students would gain from the very practical tips you have given and implement them as well because i do know that it's a very stressful period for not just the candidates even for their families the parents everyone gets tense and anxious around what they are doing so thank you very much for your time thank you very much sudhir i want to uh, tell you uh, uh, one more thing uh, at the end of the day it is just an exam and uh, uh, life is much much more than uh, an exam they should Absolutely. not decide their worth what they are hmm. capable of based hmm. on what they are going to do in next 5 months take it easy yeah it's hmm. just an exam and uh, hmm. they have gone through enough challenges they would face much uh, face much bigger challenges in in the future life so right uh, no exam is worth uh, getting tension getting stressed out uh, for so uh, that's my uh, yeah. final message for the students right okay fine great thank you so much kapil thank you so much thank you sudeep